I will be, uh, give the floor again to uh, Emmeline to start sharing the solution, that of the hosting of Holo and Holochain, so that we can get deeper and deeper into our conversation. And Emmeline, the floor is yours. Thank you, great. So now is the time where I get to bring everyone up to speed on what the Holo and Holochain team has been doing to um, kind of move us toward greater autonomy in our digital lives. And so Holochain is already built. Um, it's currently in alpha and it's um, a free open source architecture um, for running the distributed apps that can scale. So essentially that means that it provides the right environment um, for the kinds of applications that I talked about earlier. So whole chain applications uh, fit a bunch of different coordination purposes. Um, just to name a few, you can do things like um, community resource management, supply chain management, um, you can make a platform co-op or sharing the economy type apps, social media apps and other social networks, and really any kind of organizational or collaborative or governance tools, which is really what's needed right now, right? So that people can come together to coordinate without relying on third parties, right? So we don't need to throw the baby out with the bathwater, so to speak. So each application that you could potentially create runs on its own holochain that's fit for specific purposes and fit for particular social contexts. And on holochain, the users are also hosts. So the more people using apps means greater storage and processing capacity, right, for everyone. So Holochain really builds up a web with greater user autonomy, and this is built directly into its architecture and into its protocols. So to give a totally non-technical explanation, it's really just a system that allows users to own their data, to control their digital identities, to choose how they connect with applications, and to choose with whom they share data. And it does this while also providing for um, automatic backups, some customization of user experience that's actually done right, by the user, not by a company predicting your behavior as a user. Holochain is entirely peer-to-peer, -peer, um, and so data is sharded across a network of whole peers. And this means that Holochain uses a DHT, so a distributed hash table, which is how it enforces validation rules on data published from a user's own individual um, signed source chain. So this is to say that each agent holds their own immutable hash chain um, and backs up a sample of the application that it comes from, um, that public data, as a node in the DHT. So this makes powerful and secure decentralized computing possible um, even on really lightweight devices, right, like mobile phones. So the DNA of a Holochain app um, comprises the first entry on an agent's source chain. And these rules set validation requirements ensuring that the application runs securely. So data can't be counterfeited or lost or tampered with. And an app's validating hash table, a uh, distributed hash table, randomizes um, redundancy of public data across nodes in the shared space. So, you know, if a node goes offline, the DHT continues to maintain the data um, that the app needs to perform and to do its thing. If someone changes the app's rules, that's essentially just like a fork, like they take themselves out of that community and it creates an entirely new application. This is why we talk about Holochain as being agent-centric. In other words, this is why we talk about Holochain as being agent-centric. And so it actually mirrors the structure of a person in communities or kind of bouncing along many different communities, depending on what they're doing. Even though blockchain decentralizes the holding of data, it sort of inadvertently centralizes infrastructure, right, by leaving it open to pure competition. And so the approach of Holochain um, avoid centralized servers as well as centralized ledgers. Um, and with none of the centralization, it's possible to maintain data integrity across a ton of peers without processing delays and without wasted computational energy, right? Because that's kind of what it takes to hold things centrally. 